This video discusses the fault codes, error codes, and warning codes that are displayed on the Cole Morgan PDMM drive and the slave drives. So this is a, a board feeder. This is uh, the PDMM drive. This is the drive that has the program running in it. This is a slave drive to the PDMM. So in this machine, this is operating the horizontal servo. This is all operating the vertical servo. Right now you can see there's two places to see codes here. This is the fault code window. This is the error code window. Also displays some additional information. Now right now we're seeing O2 and O2 on both drives. This means both drives are healthy and ready to operate. So now I'm going to press an e-stop push button and we'll see that the error or the fault code, sorry, the fault code now is M602 on both drives. N602, that simply means that the drives are in e-stop. And what it really means is that the STO, which is on this terminal, that's the safe torque off. It means that that is low. Uh, it's not at 24 volts DC. So these drives are safe and the system cannot be operated. It is an e-stop. So now I'm going to reset that. Reset the fault. So we go back to O2, that means these drives can be operated. Now, a number of faults can be displayed in this window, and these faults can be looked up in a, uh, in a book, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm going to create a fault right now by unplugging the servo motor encoder cable. I'm unplugging it, and now we see that we have on the horizontal drive the fault 415, F415. So if I come to this book, you can look this up online as well. And I look it up, F, I've highlighted it here, F415 is in, is in this range. It says smart feedback device fault. It's a, that's the encoder fault, bad communication with the SFD smart feed, feedback device, which is the encoder on this machine. So we see the fault on the drive, but we should also see the fault on the touchscreen, and as you can see, it says horizontal servo drive faulted, and we have a fault 410. Now, 410 doesn't match up with 415, but if we look in the book, 410 does fall in this range. It is the SFD feedback fault, smart feedback device fault. So that's how we can tell what's going on with these drives, what the fault is, and it should lead us or give us clues into how to repair it. So now I'm going to plug this back in, and I'm going to reset the fault. Okay, it's reset. So now O2, once again, that means everything is healthy on this drive. If you went to the HMI, it would say that it's ready. So these are the fault code windows right there and right there. If it's a non-e-stop fault, you'll see that fault code on the HMI, the touchscreen. Now there are other faults, there are error codes. These are more serious. Error codes will be shown right here. For instance, I'll create one. This is the EtherCAT. Uh, air, this is the communications that runs the drives. Uh, in this system, we have the PDMM, we have a slave drive. And then over here, we also have remote I.O. That's a remote I.O. block. So the system always wants to see a proper configuration consisting of all these devices. So right now I'm just going to unplug one of them. And as you can see it all stops. And now in that error window we have an E30. So we can come to the same book which you can find online and look up the E faults, error codes. So here we are. We have E E30, it says EtherCAT communication failure during operation mode. And that's what we did. The line was broken. So these, these error codes are pretty serious and you'll have to do something. It could be that uh, the EtherCAT uh, communication has failed, which it has in this case because I unplugged it. Or it could mean that one of these devices has failed. There are other codes as well. Another one that's common is E33. That means that the configuration isn't what is expected, so it could mean that perhaps the, uh, the uh, remote I.O. isn't uh, in the communications link. Uh, other things can happen. So these are the codes. These are where you can find them. Now we have this uh, E33 fault, 
I'm going to restore communications to the proper uh, communications connections. Now this fault can't be cleared. We have to cycle power. So I'm going to turn power off to the system. And now I'm going to turn power back on. And we can see what happens during startup. There's also some uh, information that's displayed in this area. And the first thing that's going to be displayed is the IP address of the drive during the boot. So we'll watch that. And in a second, we'll see the IP address flash by. So P192168. Five zero one zero one. So that's the IP address of the of the drive. So now we're going to wait, and we'll find when the drive turns on, the EtherCAT will start to flash, meaning it's communicating to the other devices that are in this uh, configuration. So we're going to wait a second. You also see that we're in N502. That just means that it's in an e-stopped condition. Now we see the EtherCAT is flashing. So that means the program is running. So I can come back, reset the system. And once again, we're in O2 on the PDMM drive, the controller, and we're in O2 on the slave drive. So the system is healthy and ready to go. So these are the ways you can troubleshoot the drive for faults, errors, and warnings. Faults are F codes, warnings are N codes, and errors are e-codes, which you're going to see here. And then once again, you can look it up in the book, which you can find online. Search Cole Morgan, AKD, PDMM, fault codes, and you can access this book.